Hello everyone, so welcome back to my YouTube channel and today our topic is redistribution of protocols. Now what is the meaning of redistribution of protocol basically? So it is a common task in networking that allows the routes learned by one protocol to advertise by another protocol. That is means in this protocol we advert in this process we advertise one protocol into another protocol like ospf will be configured with the bgp protocol or we are advertising advertising the bgp protocol into what the ospf protocol okay that is then in what for the complexity of network in which different protocol are used by different parts of the networks so in the complex networks you can see that it can be possible that multiple protocols are working on a single network. So in that case, how do these protocols will interact? So in this case, we do the redistribution process over here. So one route of the OSPF or the OSPF protocol will be learned by the BGP protocol in the same. Okay, let's talk about further. So there are some key concept of the protocol redistribution. Okay, so OSPF is an integer gateway protocol. We already know that that is route within the within the same S number. But the BGP is what an exterior gateway protocol that is used to routing between what different AS numbers. So we are going to do what redistribute these protocol in between them. Okay, and how we are going to do that? So dear, let us assume we have a network like this in which R1, R2 and R3, three routers are the part of OSPF and two routers are configured with the BGP. Now, when we will do the configuration on this router R3, so we have to advertise the OSPF into BGP and BGP into OSPF in the same case. Okay. The benefit of this is what? The two protocols will be interact with each other. So these are the configuration for what? For the redistribution, there is a simple command redistribute BGP 150 subnet. This is the AS number. Okay. On OSPF, what you have to do uh, in BGP, what you have to do redistribute OSPF and the process ID of that OSPF. Okay. Let's do the practical over this. So, first of all, let's provide the IP address to R3. Okay. So, configuring terminal interface f0 slash 1 uh, f0 slash 1 no shutdown ip addresses 192.168.14.1 and 255.255.255.0 okay on other side we have interface f0 slash 0 so interface f0 slash 0 no shutdown IP address is 192.168.10.1. Okay, then 255.255.255.0. Okay, let's provide the IP address to R2. Configuring terminal interface F 0 slash 0. No shutdown IP address is 192.168.10.2. And 255.255.255.0. Okay. On other side, we have interface F0 slash 1, no shutdown. The IP address is 192.168.11.1 and 255.255.255.0. Okay. Let's configure on R1. Configuring terminal. Okay. Interface F0 slash one no shutdown the ip address is 192.168.11.2 and 255.255.255.0 okay so we have just provided the ip address to the, to all the three routers uh, of area zero let's provide the ip address to these routers from area two and area one okay on r6 configuring terminal Interface F0 slash 1, no shutdown. IP address is what? 192.168.14.2 and 255.255.255.0. Okay. 
configuring terminal uh, interface f uh, one slash zero no shut down IP address is what one ninety two dot one six eight dot thirteen dot two and two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero. Let me cross check on R one. Uh, by mist. Uh, okay, okay. We have to provide this IP address also. Okay. So interface F one slash zero. Okay, no shutdown. IP address is what. 192.168.13.1 and 255.255.255.0. Okay. So we have just provided the IP address to all the routers in what? Of OSPF, right? Let's configure the OSPF on all of these. Okay. Let me go to R3 and put the command router as OSPF1 network 192.168.0. 14.0.0.0.255 and mention the area. Areas 2. Okay. Router OSPF 1 192.168.10.0, but the area is 0. Okay. Let's go to R1 and also doing the configuration on R1. We have two areas area 0 and area 1. Okay. So router OSPF 1. Network 192.168.11.0.0.0.0.255 area 0. Okay. Then 192.168.13.0 and area is 0. one. Let's go to R2 and provide the network information. Advertise the network. Router OSPF1. Network 192.168.10.0.0.0.0.255 area 0. 192.168.11.0 and the area is same 0. Okay. Now let's go to R6 and we'll also do the configuration. Router OSPF1 network 192.168.14.2 and 2 14.0 and 0.0.0.255 area. Okay, let's go to R4. Here you can see the adjacency has been done. The full state is here. Okay, let's go to R4. Router OSPF1 network 192.168.13.0.0.0.255 area 1. Okay, so we have just configured the OSPF on all the routers, including the router 2 okay here we have two abr this one r1 and r3 the router id of these two routers are 192.168.14.1 and 13.1 let me again go to which one r2 and put a command show ip ospf database okay uh, show IP OSPF border router. So there are two border routers which are router ID 13.1 and 192.168.14.1. Okay. We have two router ID because we have two area border routers R3 and R1. Dear, if I go to R6 and put the same command, okay, show IP OSPF border router it will only show one router which one 14.1 so by this command show ip osp a border router we can we can check that which one is the nearest border router or which is the nearest router that is available for other areas okay so this is our abr so it is showing the nearest Area border router R3. Same in R4. If we put the same command, it will indicate you the nearest ABR. Show IP OSPF border routers. Okay. 
बट वेन एवर आई विल पुट अ कमांड विच वन शो आई पी ओ एस पी एफ डेटा बेस ए एस बी आर समी एम आस्किंग वॉट विच वन इज द ए एस बी आर ए एस बी आर मीन्स ऑटोनोमस सिस्टम बाउंडेड राउटर सो इट विल शो मी देर इज नथिंग इट विल इंडिकेट देर इज नो राउटर लाइक दिस विच इज रनिंग विथ ए एस बी आर दैट इज मीन्स देर इज नो राउटर विच इज कॉन्फिगर्ड विद वॉट विच इज इंटरेक्टिंग विद अदर प्रोटोकॉल्स दैट इज इंटरेक्टिंग विद वॉट एन अदर प्रोटोकॉल बिकॉज वी स्टिल डिड नॉट हैव डन वॉट द कॉन्फिग्रेशन ऑफ बी जी पी एंड ऑल्सो द रिडिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इज नॉट बीन डन हियर तो वी हैव टू कॉन्फिगर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बी जी पी हियर एंड ऑल्सो वी विल रिडिस्ट्रीब्यूट दीज टू so let's do the same just go to r4 first of all provide the ip address let let us assume the ip address available here is what 200.0.0.0 okay and the ip address provided here is 192. Uh, sorry 200.0.0.2 okay and 200.0.0.1 on this side 200.0.0.1 okay for bgp you have to provide what the autonomous system number let us assume that as number for this router is what 150 okay in case of r8 we also have to provide the autonomous system number that is 200 so as number for this router is what 200 okay first of all provide the ip address then we will do the configuration r4 and r8 okay sorry sir can i yes dear you can ask uh the two routers with, with a different as number can communicate sir dear <laughs> uh in our last class i explained the same uh, same thing actually <laughs> same concept was there that bgp is a broader gateway protocol that is used to communicate in different as number this protocol is known for the communication between different as number actually mm -hmm. this is actually this indicate that you are doing communication in wide area network actually that is why so this protocol is only work with the different as number basically in our organization you will see that bgp is used to communicate in between what different as number okay different autonomous system numbers now first of all provide the ip address to this go to r4 okay configuring terminal interface which one f0/0 no shutdown ip address which ip address is this 200.0.0.1 Okay, 0.0 uh, sorry, 200.0.0.1 and 255.255.255.0. Okay, on R8 we will also provide the IP address. Configuring terminal. Okay, interface of 0 slash 0, no shutdown. IP address is 200.0.0.2. Okay. And two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero. On R four, we have provided the IP address. On R eight, we have provided the IP address. Okay. Now let's start configuring the BGP. On R four, router BGP. With the BGP protocol, first of all, you have to provide what the AS number. Okay. like we were providing the process id in what in ospf and we have provided the as number in eigrp also because eigrp also work on what the as number but in case of eigrp if you want to create the neighborship in between two routers you must provide the same as number if the as number will be same the neighborship can be formed in eigrp but in different as number the if 
EIGRP was configured here, then you cannot create the neighborship in between these two routers because in EIGRP same AS number must be needed. But in case of BGP, it will work with different AS number. Okay. So router BGP 150. Okay. Then you have to define the neighbor. Neighbor, which one is the neighbor? Hello. 200.0.0.2. The neighbor IP address is what? 200.0.0.2. Okay. Then provide the AS number for the same. Remote AS. Which one? 200. Which one is the AS number for the neighbor? 200. So in case of BGP, you have to define the neighbor as well as the neighbor AS number. Now you have to configure what? You have to advertise the network. Which is the network? Network is what? Network 200.0.0.2 with mask. What is the subnet mask for this? Subnet mask for the for this IP uh, for this network is what? 255.255.255.0. So there is some difference in the configuration here. When you advertise the EIGRP, you don't need to provide the subnet mask. Okay. In case of OSPF, you will provide the wildcard mask, but in case of BGP, you have to provide what? The hello, the subnet mask. Okay. Let me capture the packet in between these two. So the concept is entirely different for the BGP. We will separately discuss about these packets. What is TCP packet? What is the RST acknowledgement packet and what is sync sync message. Okay, we will separately discuss about this during the BGP sessions. Okay, so don't be worried about it. Okay, whenever I will advertise the network, you can see that a packet will be generated. Okay, in the same way that we have generated before. Let's go to other router. R8 will also do the same. Router BGP 200. Okay. Neighbor. Which one is the neighbor? What is the neighbor information? That is AS number for the neighbor. Neighbor is 150. Okay. Neighbor 200.0.0.1. Remote AS 150. Okay. Then you have to advertise the network. What is the network? Network is which one? Hello. 200.0.0.0 and the subnet mask for this is what? Mask is 255.255.255.0. Okay. So let me try to do what? Let me try to forward some data from R6 to R8. Let's see it will forward or not. Okay. Go to R6 and put a command ping 200.0.0.2. It will say that there is no communication can be possible in between these two. There is no data transfer in between these two. So R6 is not transferring the transferring the data to what? To R8. Why? Because we didn't have distribute the redistribute the OSPF and BGP. So let's redistribute both of these. So go to R4. R4 will be the common router. So we have to redistribute both the protocols. So router OSPF1. Okay. Then put a command redistribute. Redistribute. BGP redistribute BGP then AS number for this router 150 
and subnets okay then on bgp side you have to configure you have to advertise the ospf okay router bgp 150 okay redistribute ospf which one then it is asking the process id redistribute ospf1 then which one that is okay only you have to redistribute what the ospf protocol now let me try to forward the data will it forward or not go to uh, r6 okay we will do the same ping 200.0.2 so dear the communication is successful right or not now it is forwarding the data now r6 is forwarding the data to what to r8 after redistribution process and after redistribution the r4 will become what the border router let me go to r6 and put a command put the same command show ip ospf database asb or something so it will answer me that yes there is an asbr yes there is an asbr which in which the router id is what 192.168.13.2 which one is that 192.168.13.2 is the router id for the same and this is our aspr 